I'm Maria and I know a lot of you have been waiting on this video for a very long time and I'm so sorry if um, at any point in this video I'm looking there or looking there or looking there like because I'm filming on my phone so I can't exactly see where the camera is <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of wing it um, but anyway uh, yeah I just wanted to finally do my jaw surgery essentials video and I'm gonna say that this is part one because I'm sure that I'm gonna forget a lot of things um, and wanna make another video. But I just grabbed a few of the things that really stuck out to me um, during surgery and post-surgery, um, just that made kind of the process a lot easier, whether that be mentally, physically, um, emotionally, and yeah, I just really wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you are getting ready for surgery or you just had your surgery and congratulations to those of you who just had it. Um, I know I've been seeing a lot of you guys who are almost, almost, almost there or you guys just finished it up and you're looking amazing. Um, yeah, so I guess this is like a super casual, weird, like, it's eight o'clock at night and I'm filming on my phone kind of thing. I just really wanted to stop putting off doing this video because I feel bad. Um, I feel like there's kind of a responsibility on me at this point to keep doing videos and keep um, just giving out tips and advice and just helping you guys because I've seen the impact that my videos have made and how much they've helped people like beyond anything that I could have ever imagined. Um, I just, I'm so thankful and I'm so glad that so many of you are finding my videos helpful. Anyway, um, before I jump into like the essentials, let me do a quick update on my jaw situation. So this is my bite currently. Um, I am ecstatic with it, obviously. Um, I guess my only kind of complaint at this point would be that sometimes whenever I smile, I still notice that it feels like I have an overbite, like an, a pro, like an issue overbite, not like a normal overbite. Um, it, it's just that I'm still getting used to smiling and that I, I want, I try to hide my bottom teeth because that's what I used to do with an underbite. So I tend to go like this a lot like that when I should be going like that, you know? Um, so I'm working on that, but that's totally a me and my brain kind of thing that doesn't have to do with the surgery or, um, or that my surgeon messed up or anything. I am beyond pleased and I would do the surgery again tomorrow if I had to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pain, I do have some pain still, mostly on this side. Um, I haven't gotten the steroid injection yet, and I haven't gotten the screws that are poking out down there um, filed down yet. I will definitely update you guys once I have those procedures done. I'm assuming that they're going to happen in the next probably three months. Um, but yeah, I'm not super worried about it at all right now um, because honestly, like once you go through jaw surgery, any other kind of procedure seems like nothing, so it's whatever. I just wanna make sure I get it done sooner than later. I do have some clicking on this side still, but that'll hopefully be solved once I get the steroids in. And yeah, other than that, I really don't have any complaints. I'm so happy. And for any of you who are still considering and you haven't made up your mind, just do it. You won't regret it at all. It's the best thing that you'll ever do for yourself. I can promise you. Oh, and by the way, I've been getting a lot of questions about my nose and if my nose changed at all. And I've talked about this a lot in my videos, so I'm surprised I still get questions on it. Um, but yeah, my nose changed. It's turned upright more. Um, I don't mind it at all. It's just not as, especially whenever I smile, it doesn't curved down as much as it did before. Um, hardly noticeable. I notice it obviously, and some of my friends notice it, but whatever. And I'm still getting comments from friends and friends of friends saying like, I can't believe it's you, and looking at old pictures of me saying that I'm a completely different person, things like that, whatever. It doesn't really bother me. Okay, so 
my first essential is this ice pack. And I don't mean just any ice pack, I mean this one. I got this from Walmart and I'll try to link it down below. I'll try to link everything I got down below. If not the exact, I'll do something similar. I got this from Walmart and I know a few of you have gotten this off of my recommendation. It's amazing because of this strap. So, <laughs> so yeah, you can see how this would be excellent for somebody um, in recovery, right? It fits literally exactly where we need it to. I just, I wish it came in the front a little bit more because I know that my cheeks could have used a lot more icing. This really helped my swelling down under here and it helped me get kind of my jawline back sooner than later. Awesome, it stays cold for so long and honestly, you don't need to wrap it in anything because you know how most ice packs you need to wrap it because it's too cold. This is made out of clay, so you can heat it or cool it. And it's not too cold. I feel like I have a good pain tolerance, so maybe that's why. But then again, I was pretty numb, so I don't know. And it's super flexible with your face instead of having a hard ice pack. And it was fairly inexpensive. I think it was around $10. Okay, next up. This is kind of more on the... Well, I guess it's mental, emotional, I guess it's all three. This is my essential oil diffuser. And the oils that I liked to use were a sleep blend that had a chamomile in it. I love chamomile. And I think I used a eucalyptus because that really helped with the sinuses. And I just pretty much had this running at all times. And it just helped to keep the air fresh and just keep kind of my senses going instead of just sitting in my dull room because I spent all of my time in my room. I needed something to be breathing in that helped my, um, like my, my actual body recover and then also made me feel good. Okay, next up is a condiment bottle. I think they're in the dollar store, but you can also get them from Walmart, Target. Well, actually, no, I don't think Target has them because I looked before surgery. I don't remember where I got this from, but I'll link some on Amazon down below. And I would recommend using the clear for clear liquids like apple juice or water. And then I don't have it with me, but I had a red and yellow one, supposed to be for mustard and ketchup, but I used it for soups and kind of more um, salty, thicker things, especially tomato soup, because I didn't want this to get stained. It's awesome. It's so much better than a syringe. Trust me, if you're using a syringe right now, stop what you're doing and get a condiment bottle. I used this immediately out of the hospital and within my first week I used this on only this. I think I used my syringe for medicine and that's about it. Um, I did use my syringe in the hospital because that's all that I had. I used this the first week and then the week after that and I'm pretty sure I used this for like the first three months post-surgery because it just was so easy. Even after like your swelling starts to go down, it's still kind of hard to consume any kind of like food or liquids um, just because your mouth can be numb, your muscles aren't working and you're not functioning properly. So just having this to just squeeze and squirt, squirt down your mouth is so much easier, so much less messy, and it helps you to eat because I know a lot of people really struggle with eating, especially in that first week, because they're in so much pain and they're so uncomfortable and their pain medicines make them lose their appetite, but it's really, really, really important to keep eating. That's the thing that's gonna make your body heal. So even if you have to force yourself, you know, put yourself on a timer every 20 minutes, have like this much of soup or something, as much as you can do, it's really important. Um, I can talk more about that in another video, but just a word of advice from me, do not put off eating or staying hydrated. Okay, next essential are these little things. I think I've talked about these in another video, but these are um, by the brand Dentec and they're interdental cleaners. I believe it's what they're called. You can use these like in between your teeth. It's really hard to fit in between your teeth, but they're supposed to be used for that. But what I did, I used these for whenever I had my splint in because I had a splint on my upper jaw and I would get food like stuck in the little crevices and the holes and this fits perfectly in there because I couldn't, I literally could not go to sleep without cleaning my mouth spotless because it was so gross. Oh my God. 
It makes me tear up thinking about when I got my splint off, how disgusting it was. But this was a huge help to keep it clean. What I also loved to use was a um, baby toothbrush. I wasn't able to use that until about a week post-op because um, for those first few days, I, I was opening my mouth like this, like, no, not at all. <laughs> but this is a great help and this helped to at least get down in here like this whenever I couldn't fit a toothbrush even on the sides of my mouth. And I love how it bends like that because I was able to get it right here and the back of my bottom teeth because I didn't, I wasn't wired shut at all and I didn't have a splint down there. So my teeth got so crummy and like slimy and gross with plaque. So I was finally able to figure out to use these to scrub the inner rim of my teeth because I couldn't put a toothbrush in there. And honestly, the day, I remember the day that I went to the store and I got a pack of these and I sat in my mom's car and I just cleaned the whole inner rim of my bottom teeth. I felt like a new person. I was like, I can live like this forever. I can keep the splints in forever. I'm fine as long as my teeth are clean. Okay, only three more things because I'm trying to keep this video short so that way I can do another one. Um, and so that way I don't overwhelm you guys with too many things. Next thing is this little mirror for your mouth. You can get this in any kind of like dental kit from the dollar store or Walmart. And I just like to have this for put right there and uh, whenever I could fit it in there, obviously, because for a while I couldn't, but <clears throat> just to check up on my stitches, I feel like it's really important to make sure that you're keeping your mouth super clean and your stitches super clean. My stitches lasted a pretty long time, actually, um, especially the ones right here. They lasted for like three months, uh, maybe more. I don't remember, I'm sure I posted about it, but. I, I constantly checked up on them to make sure that everything was okay because food can easily, just like a little piece of meat or anything can get hooked in there and you just don't want that. Like just, I tried to not do anything that would risk me, um, you know, hurting my surgery results. And you know, I don't, I don't really understand why some people kind of, they get the surgery and then they kind of don't treat their bodies the way that their bodies need to be treated post-surgery. Um, and I don't understand that because if you go through the surgery, you know, you want the best results possible. So, and that's kind of why I make these videos now because I want to make sure that everybody is, you know, taking care of themselves and doing the best that they can do to be ready for the surgery and have the best outcome because it's so worth it and it's worth the work. You will be so happy with yourself six months down the road. Okay, only two more things. So this is the Honey Savior Pharmacy um, All-in-One Skin Repair Salve. And it's, I've talked about this before in a few videos because I know some people got it off of my recommendations. I love when anybody comments and messages me on Instagram saying like, I got this thing because you said to get it and it's so helpful and it just, it makes me want to cry, honestly. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's kind of like a, kind of like Vaseline, but a lot thinner. I use this all over my mouth and my nose because the swelling will crack your skin up. And not just the swelling, but the pulling that they do during surgery is ridiculous um like they just pry your mouth from ear to ear um and it can really destroy your lips and your skin so you want to make sure that you have something super um moisturizing and super repairing to put on your skin and i found that this was awesome for not just my lips but my skin too um, i do have fairly sensitive skin and this didn't make me break out i think it made me break out um once I like started really piling it on and not cleaning my face the way it should have been. So that's totally my fault. So don't be worried about that. Um, and I haven't heard anybody say that it made them break out so far. So yeah, it has honey in it um, and a bunch of antioxidants and a bunch of great things. It is kind of pricey. This is definitely the most pricey item that I got other than my um, sleeping wedge. 
Well, actually, I don't know. This honestly might have been more expensive. But, I mean, look at how much I have left. And I've been using it since surgery, which was, what is it? It's May, so November, oh, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Eight months post-op. Wow. Eight months post-op. That's crazy. My lips got so funky right here. Like, so, like, I would say that that might have been my least favorite part about recovery was the skin because it made me so uncomfortable. I, I'm the type of person, like, I cannot deal with dry skin and it was just so, it was bleeding and this stuff saved me. Um, so try it out. Ask for a sample at Sephora before your surgery if you want to try it out because it's so worth it. Okay, last item is my jade roller. <sighs> you guys, I know a lot of you watching this probably own this because of me. <laughs> and, ooh, girl, if you own this, then you know what I mean. That this is quite possibly the most handy tool for a jaw surgery patient. I feel like all surgeons should give this out with the surgery, you know, just walk into the hospital room and just hand them out in little goodie bags because it is a life saver. So what I use this for is whenever I had swelling, I mostly had swelling like around here. So you just go in upward motions. You don't have to press too firmly, right? Especially around here, I like to use this end around my joints because obviously that's the place that really got um, messed up. And then right here, because I had plates put in right here. Oh my God, that still, that makes my like nose tingle because my nerves are still waking up. And then right here, you know, just anywhere. This helped with my swelling so much and not just like the physical appearance of my swelling, but just, Sometimes you can feel so swollen and like thick and like that you can't really do anything. Um, and this helps with that so much because it gets the blood flowing and it gets kind of, you know, your lymphatic system moving and it gets everything going, especially around your joints that just got tore up. It's a great way to wake up your muscles and get your nerves going, especially. Honestly, I probably would say that this helped with my um, getting my feeling back more than my swelling and it helped my swelling a lot. So this is all around just an excellent, excellent tool. Um, I feel like everybody who goes through the surgery could use this tool. And I like to use this even before surgery to kind of get my muscles going and wake up my nerves and just be like, hey, get ready because you're about to go to war. And I really think this made the world of a difference because I got my feeling back so soon. You know, I was, I got my function back immediately and I felt so good so soon compared to most people. And everybody keeps asking me like, I feel like you recovered so fast, how'd you do it? It was things like this. Um, and, and I'll try to make more videos on kind of like how I beat the system to get ahead of the game for it. But I did talk about that a lot in my other videos. So if you haven't watched all of my other videos, I definitely recommend doing that because I like to go off on little tangents like this about things like that. So these are fairly inexpensive. I mean, they can be expensive depending on where you get them from, but I got mine from Amazon and it was the best investment um, for my jaw surgery. And I keep using it now, even way past jaw surgery. It's just awesome to use with like an oil or your cream or on its own or like with a face mask. It's amazing. All right, um, I think that's it. Oh, my wedge pillow. I don't have it because it's massive, but I can like insert a picture of it right here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, it is so helpful because you need to be sitting upright. You need to be sleeping upright. Please God, do not sleep straight on your back post-jaw surgery. Don't sleep on your back for at least two weeks post-jaw surgery. Honestly, I would say don't sleep on your back one to two months post-jaw surgery because it makes a huge difference for your swelling and how you feel the next morning waking up because um, 
like after about a week post-op, waking up was the most painful thing for me. My face hurt more than I could have ever imagined. And it was because when you're asleep, you know, your muscles kind of freeze up and my face had the chance to get swollen again because I wasn't moving around. Um, so stacking pillows on the wedge pillow to make it even higher made a huge difference and it really helped with my pain and my discomfort. So I definitely recommend getting one of those if you can't afford it or you just don't want to have to put in the effort to get one, even though I really recommend you do. Um, just make sure that you have a lot of pillows or maybe plan to sleep in a recliner. I know that that can kind of be a little bit more uncomfortable, but trust me, it's worth it. And it's gonna get really hard and you're not gonna wanna do it. And you're gonna wanna say in the middle of the night at three o'clock, you're gonna wanna say, I can't do this. Let me just, for the next four hours, let me just sleep flat on my back. Please don't do it. I'm begging you, please don't do it. You didn't put in all this work to just, you know, let, it get you let your face get even more swollen you didn't put in all this work just to give up like that so i guess that's pretty much all the essentials i have for you guys for now um i do have tons more up my sleeve but i didn't want to overwhelm you with a lot of things if you have any more questions you can comment down below or you can message me on Instagram. I've been talking to a lot of you guys through that because it's just easier, it's quicker, um, and I get to kind of have more personal in-depth conversations about your experiences. I really like helping jaw surgery patients and just kind of hearing about other stories and sharing my experience because I so strongly believe that this was the best thing that I've ever done for myself and I will ever do for myself. So I just want to make sure that everybody has that same kind of experience. So yeah, um, I hope to keep posting videos. If you guys have anything you'd like me to talk about, I'd be more than happy to. If you want me to do another question and answer video, you can just start leaving me questions below and I will kind of accumulate them and do one of those soon. I can do some more experience videos, like how my surgeon experience was and things like that. I can talk about my braces, um, pretty much anything you want. So just let me know and I guess that's it. Good luck to all of you who are preparing for your surgery and to everybody who has finished your surgery. You are over the worst part and the best is yet to come and I wish you the best of luck. All right, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.